This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. We're back at the Mila Kitchen Studio here in Princeton, New Jersey, continuing to celebrate Philadelphia Magazine's Guide to Holiday Entertaining. And with me now is Chef Instructor Corbin Evans of the Restaurant School at Walnut Hill College. And you're going to present to us a recipe, cornmeal griddle cakes. Right. Now, is this inspired by your time in Louisiana? Uh, it could be, I think. Maybe? Maybe more from growing up. Um, my grandma used to make cornmeal pancakes, and this is just kind of a... Uh, you know, fussy up version of it with all the other ingredients. And this is a wonderful appetizer for any of our holiday parties. Mm -hmm. You're going to pair it with some smoked salmon uh -huh. at the end. So it's a nice change from the uh, expected potato pancake with right, salmon and right, cut fresh. Right. So where do we begin, Chef? Uh, well, if you want to help me, we can mix some of the dry ingredients We'd while I cut to. some of the vegetables. Okay. Um, flour. So we have flour. Cornmeal. Right in this bowl? Put it right in the bowl. Okay. So. Flour. That's the flour and the cornmeal. Cornmeal. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to cut some vegetables here. We're not going to use the whole pepper. We'll just use a little bit of it. So it's just the... a red pepper. Uh-huh. And we're going to put corn and a little jalapeno in it. You can do less or more on the jalapeno depending on how spicy you like it. Okay, so it adds a little bit of heat. And give that a stir. Okay, so whisk this a little bit. Mm-hmm. So we whisk our dry ingredients in one bowl. And then you're going to add the egg and the, that's buttermilk there. Okay. So and just crack we'll, the whole egg in, yep, into the bowl? Yep. So now we're going to incorporate our, our wet the ingredients. Wet, yep. You don't need to do separate bowls because it's going to get all mixed up together. Okay. That's good to know. Now I'm going to use some green onions here. How much buttermilk would you like? That's already measured out. It's uh, half a cup. Half a cup. So add the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And is there any particular type of cornmeal that you use? Just fine, mm, fine like, ground cornmeal? Yeah, it doesn't have to be, you know, crazy, crazy expensive. Just get the regular uh, store-bought stuff. Okay. And I see that you're cutting fresh corn kernels off the cob, which is uh -huh. always desirable. Is it possible, if we have it in our freezer, to use frozen corn, or is that not advisable? It's okay to use. I would... Uh, <laughs> Strain it a little bit. Sometimes it's kind of wet when it okay. thaws, you know, from being frozen. Um, but that'll be fine. Okay, very good. That's good. I'm going to also do a little trick here. I'll show you. Scrape the back of the uh, the cob with the back of the knife, and you get all the all that great all that good, milk. Uh, yeah, the milk, which will flavor it and give it a little more creaminess. So it's our red pepper, mm. our green onion, uh, our fresh corn, and a little bit of jalapeno. Just a little bit of olive oil, since it's non-stick, you don't need to use as much, but a little bit will give it flavor. The restaurant school for the holidays, the first thing I think about is your classes for the community, which uh, you know, ha offer wonderful opportunities for people to take classes that are holiday inspired. I know you have some parent-child baking classes mm -hmm. to bake cookies together. Um, it's always a vibrant place during the holidays with your, I think you have four restaurants in the restaurant school, is that correct? There's American, that's right, a, a, a bistro, Italian, and then the Great Chef's Room. Coming up for the holidays, we have the holiday buffet in, really? in December. So, huge spread. I think it's thirty-five dollars. All you can eat. That's wonderful to know. So, I'm doing some more southern dishes than Are I've had you? in the past, just because that's where I'm, I'm coming from. But you were telling me too that you were going to incorporate some uh, southern-inspired classes in your classes yeah, for the community. Yeah, next year I'm going to try uh, some New Orleans style. New Orleans classes. jazz brunch, uh, Cajun versus Creole, kind of. So people can see the difference between between the two cuisines. They're a little confusing. You've spent it was about ten years yeah, in New Orleans, yeah. right? So we just take a, a spoonful of the batter, depending on how big you want to make them. We'll make these kind of small. I like how you're doing that. You, you have a nice hot pan, and you're sort of gradually um, pouring the you batter. You just want to make them in one pile right. so that it spreads. They, they spread, right. Okay. Actually, while we're doing that, I'll slice some of the salmon that we made at the school. Tell me a little bit about the salmon. We Is cure it. Smoked? We cure it, and then we lightly smoke it. Yeah. And you do this at the school? Uh huh. So it's a great opportunity for your uh, students to learn about the uh, curing see, process. They get to see. We we make bacon. We do uh, duck confit, which we cure. We do lots of uh, charcuterie. And this is all part of the curriculum at the restaurant school for the culinary Different arts classes, program? but yeah. Okay. You see how they're nice and golden? Yes, they look beautiful actually, Chef. They cook very quickly. Yeah, 
there it's a light batter can the batter be made ahead of time not too far ahead because okay. the baking baking powder and baking soda but oh yes i wouldn't make it and leave it overnight but you could definitely do it ahead of time you and can just, even make the pancakes ahead if you wanted and then just throw them in the oven to warm them up how well do you think they would freeze I'm sure they would freeze fine. Okay, yeah. so this is that's a wonderful thing to that, do for the yeah. holidays. Yeah. So yeah. if you're planning a party, this is a, a fantastic appetizer. Mm -hmm. And then we made a little creme fraiche. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I love the jalapeno in the in the corn cake. Really nice pop as soon as you put it in your mouth. That is excellent. Happy holidays, Corbin. It's been wonderful having you on our show. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.